But I'm hoping that folks drop some more action over here. Well, the graveyard strikes again. I'm trying to see uh, couches, uh, bookshelves. I don't think there's anything major up there. Uh, again, this is where the maintenance guys put all the stuff. Yeah, it kind of mostly looks like bookshelves and stuff like that. So we'll go ahead and pass on that. Well, uh, there is what looks to be a Dooney and Burke bag. I think that's a Dooney and Burke. Uh, microwave and steel frame for a bed. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a good day for Ikea. That's 180 something dollars brand new. Ikea, but where are them drawers? Someone just rolled around the corner right there, but you know what, we're gonna film it anyway, and we'll go in for a closer look, but I'm gonna be live right here with you. What do you think is in the hot tamale cans? The cans that have, oh, do they get do they get my stuff? They take my stuff? Hey, look at that. Oh, no, that's not free. Oh, man. Hot cans got a little cold. All right, we got some nice stools here. Two of those, and then a nice big old fluffy pillow top mattress right there. Hey, poop emoji, I'm home. What? You want a sleepover? Nah, I don't think that's such a good idea right now. What do you mean he's already here? What are you talking about? Where are you? Poop emoji. What are you doing? Ah! What's this? What'd you do? Ah! Who are you? What in the w Poop emoji. What have you done? What have you two done? Good thing I just picked up. Some guy sold it to me. Said it was legit. I'm a little bit weary of it, but it looks legit. Poopy gone, I guess this works. Well, we're out and about on the hunt, and it's a beautiful, absolutely stunningly gorgeous rain is held. I am noticing more and more trash. Probably not here. Oh, a bunch of clothes there. I am noticing a lot more stuff being left next to the cans because people don't want to touch the cans. I don't know why you want to throw away a mirror right there. Come on, folks, that's a good mirror. This is a really cute uh, square potted plant. Uh, I'm gonna think about that one. It's about a foot in length, maybe six to eight inches tall. Really cute. Almost, uh, yeah, I don't know. I think I actually kind of like that. I don't know where I would put it though. Well guys, I got it, I got it. I actually saw that yesterday and I don't know why I didn't film it. Very lovely piece nonetheless. We have it right back here. As you can see, right there, it is cracked a little bit, unfortunately. Now I could take some sort of cement epoxy and probably work on that. Maybe even make a creative video for my other channel, always linked below. Tips in in tricks, two ins. Tips in in tricks, one word, always linked below. That's my other channel. And if you made it this far into the video, go ahead and give that thumbs up button if you've enjoyed the videos. Helps with the algorithm of YouTube and my appreciation for you guys. Anyway, lovely plant. All right, we might have to hit the snaps. I saw a bunch of people over here just a second ago. I don't know if they were just throwing stuff away. Bunch of large boxes. Two-man team hasn't come back at all. Coffee table and everything was still there. I think I've been the only diver out the last like two weeks for sure. Oh, the Samsonite bag is still there. I think people are just scared to take things. Well, it had a little crack in there anyway, but. Folks right behind me, so we'll hit the snaps. Shoe thing, plate thing, and huh. Nice tower fan, actually. Sorry, King P, I know you need more tower fans. I don't think seven is enough. <laughs> but we may go back and grab that. There were literally a bunch of folks around. No parking spots. Didn't want to park on a red curb. Bear with me, folks. Bear with me here. Nice. We got some motorized uh, bicycles across the street. Battery powered. His and hers. Chris, if you could find anything, what would it be? Hmm, I'm going to go a mining computer from 2010. Some guy mined a thousand Bitcoin, forgot it. About him. I'd like to find one of those. But I'm hoping that folks drop some more action over here. Yep, let's go in for a closer look. We got saran wrap stuff. Looks good.
Well, to be honest with you, I have no idea why they did that. I literally just grabbed two whole entire bags full of food. I'm talking about pantry food, the stuff that is flying off the shelves. Uh, there's at least two or three peanut butters, uh, oatmeal. This is a blessing from the Lord, absolutely, because I was going to actually go to the store to buy more oatmeal and more peanut butter. Thank you, Lord. You know what I need. And you give your people what they need. That's beautiful. Uh, whole entire walkway. Um, we had a shoe rack to start out it. Uh, of course, the dresser. Some of the items were actually in the cans, uh, unfortunately. I did take the uh, food and I did take the axe as well. You always need an axe. It's a, I, I haven't found an axe like that in a very long time. So I'm a little strange, but I still took it. Oh, and I found a pound of coffee in the bag as well with a lot of other stuff I haven't looked through yet. We got ourselves a little drawing rack right here. Seems like everyone's throwing away their drawing racks for some reason. Are they all going to gas? Maybe they prefer gas powered, gas powered, gas heating, electrical powered, gas heating. Because what else would there be? Are there any dryers that are non-gas? Is there like uh, an electric with an electric heater in there or are they all electric 240, 220 with the gas powered? That's a question for Bill Nye, the science guy. Well folks, what a blessing. That food haul I actually found out and a lot of it is like legitimate organic food. Some is already past the expiration date, but I'm talking about just a few weeks. I'm not scared about that at all. Uh, and a lot of it is like what I actually eat. Organic, regular oatmeal, not that sugar laden stuff. Uh, reduced sodium, some stuff, fried beans, a lot of organic quinoa. I'm actually doing an organic Wolfgang Puck uh, soup right now uh, with, I was actually able to find some nice chicken at the store. And then um, some of these items are actually open. Now, I definitely don't do that normally, but I'm gonna go ahead and put those off to the side. I'm talking about just, it looks like a knife was in there just a few times. Again, some people might be like, oh, that's disgusting, I would never do that. But I'm gonna go ahead and put it aside. God forbid this whole situation in the world is getting crazier. Then guess what? You better believe I am going to just peel off the top layer, maybe go an inch underneath, throw that away, and enjoy the rest of it. This is organic non-stir peanut butter. That's probably seven, eight dollars alone right there this one same thing a smaller one and again just the very tops uh looks like a knife was in there uh this was in there uh some protein bars this is like a blessing from the lord thank you jesus uh he provided some really good food by the way trader joe's uh chai seed more quinoa uh chicken noodle i don't really do that but i'll put that off to the side just in case uh some more vegetarian refi beans and some little chocolate banana granola minis. Uh, and then there were some other things, I think, uh, the oatmeal, I definitely have already started to eat the oatmeal, but I was super stoked, super pumped, super blessed. Thank you, Lord. Oh, and then uh, this is expensive. This was actually in there as well. I'm gonna start adding that to my smoothies. Uh, this is peanut butter powder. That was in there, so that was an absolute blessing. Thank you, Lord, once again. Ah, just tremendous. Free food, and it smells good. Don't let the party stop, guys. Hit one of these videos, continue to watch, and we'll see you soon.